hello. It appears you've caught me in the tub. No, not really. This is just one of the things I found this week. One of not a lot of things, but a few things. Uh, we'll start off with this since it's here. It's a contour uh, bathtub sample by American Standard. I don't know if this is a salesman sample or a display sample for in the store or whatever, but it's, uh, it's a nice little piece uh, in very good condition. It's got one little where is it? Right there. Uh, one little chip on the end there, uh, which compared to everything else I saw on eBay, there was a couple of these on eBay. This was the best looking one, proud to say. Paid two dollars for it. Uh, weighs about two and a half pounds. It's actually cast iron. It's porcelain on cast iron. Great sample. Uh, paid two for it. I don't even know if it's going to sell. The other ones that were up there were up for like forty dollars and twenty dollars. I've got it up for nine ninety nine, and I, I think it might sell. I don't know. We'll see. Two dollars, not a bad buy. What else? Uh, oh, this is a cool thing. Uh, my old pal Billy D here, a little nodder, displaying the uh, Colt 45 malt liquor. I'm sure he was proud of that choice in his career. I don't know. Who am I to say? I've never uh, been asked to uh, endorse anything, so uh, who am I to say? Uh, but it's a very cool little thing. Paid five bucks for it. It's already got a ten dollar bid on it, so not a bad buy there. Uh, got a couple more automobile things here. Uh, Motors, Motors Auto Repair Manual 1969, and a couple of Mustang things here. Paid uh, 250 for the whole works. This has got a $10 bid on it. I don't think these are even going to sell. Uh, I thought they were more like repair manuals. I should have looked a little closer, but it was only 250 for the whole batch, so not a big loss anyway. Got more of those. Three dollars for a uh, what was it called? It's a uh, Victoria Austria uh, vegetable bowl. Nice looking bowl. Nice china bowl, porcelain. Um, no chip, no chip, no chip, no chip, no chip, no chips, no cracks. Uh, really nice condition, but uh, doesn't seem to have a whole lot of value to it. So another couple of bucks, maybe tossed away. I don't know. Got this at a Goodwill, not a yard sale. This is a good little find. Um, it's a Sony mini disc player with AM FM radio and weather channel and TV. Uh, it's got the little remote so you can you know find a strap and wear it while you're jogging or whatever. Paid six dollars for it. Looks like they're going for around thirty or forty dollars so I'm happy with that. Uh, also picked up at an estate sale a little uh, bucket of tools. This bucket of tools wasn't made. I picked out the tools made the bucket. Got a Schrade Hone Steel uh, knife sharpener. It's mint. Paid two dollars for that. That's going to go for ten to fifteen, maybe twenty. Uh, steel punch. No, what manufacturing marks on that? I don't know. Might sell, might not. Got this whole whole box, including this, for eight dollars. So that's where we're at. Uh, and a whole bunch of uh, plumb, plumb, P-L-O-M-B. You see it on eBay as uh, P-L-U-M-B and P-L-V-M-B because it's got kind of a strange little V-shaped moniker in their name there. But uh, these are all T-bar, breaker, socket, uh, wrenches, extensions, another one, another one, little rat, and more, gosh, is there more? Yes, there is. Uh, and this is an old, uh, I found out this was a bike crescent wrench kind of thing, made by uh, Mossberg Manufacturing. It's called the Sterling Number no. 1, tiny little thing, but really good shape, and might get a few bucks for that. Another plum ratchet there, and finally a bunch of little meteor mini wrenches, open end and box end. I don't know. What else? Oh, uh, well, got some interesting pieces here. These were all from the same sale. They were all in the same box. A bunch of uh, timely found radiation detector equipment here from uh, Victorine. Got a uh, couple of them here. Got the, this is actually a Geiger counter. This is probably the best piece in the batch. I paid 15 for uh, basically four pieces. Uh, this is the best one. Hoping to get about 200 out of this guy. And this one, and this one, the model CDV, CD for Civil Defense, CDV 715 and 717. Uh, they should go for maybe 40 or 50 each. I'm hoping. Also got. Uh, this dosimeter uh, set with uh, six of the pens and the charging base. Uh, got a few dogs this week as well. 
um, those uh, Mustang catalogs and uh, this guy I twenty dollars I paid for this thing 1949's uh, uh, what's it? agreement for uh, national professional baseball players it's just a little booklet I paid twenty dollars for this thing what an idiot uh, I thought it was a book of rules thought it might have some collectability but uh, twenty dollars not well spent there um, another poorly set poorly spent uh, batch of money here I paid a dollar a piece for these uh, little miniature bottles here uh, uh, these are probably from the 50s uh, house of house of Koshu in California there this is full this is full never open but it's evaporated a little bit and this obviously has been a uh, couple hits been taken off of that no real value there buck a piece three dollars gone no biggie got to take a shot right uh, beast of the week is this monster size chip and dip bowl which has really got uh, some real beautiful color to it it's, it's not real ruby glass because the glass itself isn't tinted it's got like a, a coating on it so there's a few scratches in it but a really pretty piece weighs a ton of course because it's uh, I don't think it's lead glass but it's solid glass um, I paid three dollars for it and can't really find anything to match it. I'm hoping fifteen, maybe twenty dollars to the right buyer out there. And um, one more thing, if I can find it. If I can just find it. I'm ill prepared. Okay, never mind. It was a uh, Snap-on Tools uh, torque wrench. Paid. Uh, $20 for it, and I thought that was going to be a, a losing proposition, but it's already got a bid for $25 on it. I wish I had it handy here so I could show you. But uh, it's gone. So I guess that's it. On kind of a sad note, I guess that ends this week. Looking forward to ne next week. Stay tuned for updates on a few things that sold last week. A couple of little surprises there. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.